Hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can tame yourself a dung beetle in Ark Survival Ascended on the island map. I'm going to show you a good location for them and an easy taming method. Now dung beetles are very useful because they can actually turn your dinosaur's poop into fertilizer and fertilizer is what you would use for your crops. Right now I have two dung beetles, which should be enough for the current farmhouse that I have, but I'm planning on expanding this, so I'm going to need at least one more dung beetle. So I figured why not make a video on how to tame one. Now the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is poop. Now you shouldn't need that much poop, but you want to get at least some large or medium sized poop. You can use small size poop, but it will take a little bit longer. If you don't have access to poop, then you can use spoiled meat. It works just as fine, just not as fast. I would also suggest a dino that you can bring inside of a cave, mostly either a raptor, sometimes a carno, depending on the size of the cave or like a saber tooth or a wolf. Also, if you're gonna be traveling on foot and not using a cave dino, I highly suggest making some bolas. Bolas can be good for either trapping up the spiders or scorpions, and while they're trapped up, you can hit them with a pike or a sword and kill them easier. Okay, so we're arriving close to the cave now. The cave is normally down this direction, right in that little gapway right there. But in case you're having a hard time finding it, if you are looking from the beach side where the water is, I don't know why my map's a little blurry, but if you come to 83.4 and 51.6, that's exactly where I'm at right now. And then you would head straight down over here to 85.0 to 54.4. So we're just going to head straight on in. You'll see when you see this area here, it will be on the right side. Now be careful though, because sometimes there's alpha raptors down here. I had to deal with like quite a few of them. And the cave entrance is right here. You can see it goes deep in there. So what I like to do is I park my bird up here because nothing can get up here. And then before you go in, just put a sleeping bag right outside. Right there. Boom. Okay, so when you head on in, it's going to get a little laggy because it loads in the cave. And then you just come down this trail. I'm going to keep going straight. Just follow this path that I'm going. Just keep going straight to get down to this part. Then you make a right. Then you go down, you make this left. Oh my god, it's so laggy. And you just keep making your way. This is probably one of the easiest caves to do. That's why I'm recommending this cave, because it's definitely one of the easiest ones. And you come down here. Now when you get to this point, you can make a right. Which I probably would suggest, because last time I found a dumb beetle, when I made a right. So you can make a right when you get to that point. Come down here. You can see we have a loot thing down there, so if you want to get some loot. Now, dumb beetles normally stay quiet. What the hell? They just popped out of thin air. This is why I suggest the cave dino. Oh my god. Okay, maybe come in here with two raptors. <laughs> So here you can find an explorer note, which gives you a lot of XP, and you can find yourself a supply crate, which could have some good loot in it. So whenever you see this supply crate, you want to keep heading straight to the right side and come down this way. Just keep going, we have another spider here. Perfect, we have a dumb beetle right there. So dumb beetles can spawn randomly anywhere in the cave. Like some of you might see some here, some of you might not. So uh, it really depends. And I think we have some spiders down there as well. Yeah, we have some snakes and spiders. So we can clear them out and then we can tame the dumb beetle. The dumb beetle does not um, attack you. He's not really that aggressive. What the fuck? All right, so I'm having him killing all the snakes and spiders for me. Like I said, you could bring a Carno down here. And while he does that, Oh no, Dumb Beetle, where are you going? No, 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 no. God damn it. Dumb Beetle became aggressive. We lost one. Alright, so he got aggroed on the Carno. We're gonna have to bowl at him and then get out of his aggro range. Obviously, this shouldn't happen to you, but uh, in case it does, if they get aggro on you for whatever reason, just get out of their range. In the meantime, what you want to do is put one of the poops in your last slot on the hot bar. This is how we're going to feed it. It's a passive tame, so you don't knock it out. You got to feed it up the butt. So we're going to see. I don't know if he's still bullet or not. 
Okay, he's moving around. He, damn, is he still going after the Carno? Okay, I guess once they're aggroed, he doesn't really stop. So we're going to have to keep going down that cave and see if we can find any more dung beetles. Or maybe come back to that one later. So we're just going to keep on heading straight. Down the straight path. Ah, he killed some dumb beetles on the way. God damn, this spot had two dumb beetles. All right, so unfortunately the other guy killed all the dumb beetles on this side of the cave. So we're going to have to go back the way we came and go on the other side to find some other ones. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we went back to the dumb beetle that was moving and now we can finally feed him. So as you can see, we had the poop in the last bar and you can see it says feed. So we're going to feed him. Now the server, I mean the rates on this server is a little bit boosted. So sometimes I'll take a few poops and this dumb beetle was a low level so that also helped as well. Now making your way outside of the cave, just in case you get attacked by anything, you want to put down another sleeping bag as backup. And the beauty is you are able to carry these things. So we're going to carry them and we're going to ride the raptors. So <laughs> it looks funny but we should make it our way out now. So we're going to go up the same route we just took. Just come up through this cave. And then, oh, I see the other player, okay. And then we just come up here and make a left. And then just follow this trail on the way out. Remember, when exiting a cave, always look for the route that is going up. Any route that's going upwards is possibly towards an entrance. If it's going downwards, then you're going deeper in the cave. All right, so we made it back to the base. We have the dumb beetle here. And you just wanna have them near dinosaurs that um, obviously poop a lot, like these things. And you want to build a little enclosure because the only way they can turn poop into fertilizer is if you hold down on them and you go to behavior and you set them to wandering. They, or they need to be wandering in order to make fertilizer. So we're going to enable wandering. He has auto poop collect enabled. Look, he's already collecting poop from everybody here. And the only thing you want to increase when it comes to his stats is the weight, obviously, for all the poop he's going to be holding. It takes a little bit of time for him to finally make fertilizer, but after a while, your dump beetle will look like this, and he'll be full of fertilizer to cover you for, like, the next month. And that is it for this video. If this video helped you guys out, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any other dinos or creatures that you want to learn how to tame, let me know in the comments, and I will make a video on it. And thank you guys for watching.